morning, Ospreys. I'm Elizabeth Norton. And I'm Alex Lassen, and you're watching Spinnaker News. It's a bummer about the Ospreys losing last night. I know. I lost a bit of sleep over it last night. I was expecting an upset. I know someone who won't be too thrilled, probably Ozzy, the Osprey. Right? He probably lost a couple talons over it. Poor, poor bird. Yeah, but he'll be having a children's book coming out soon. UNEP's Eco Adventure Assistant Director Amy Costa and Coordinator Jake Fitzroy recently finished writing part of a children's book about our sawmill slow preserve. A Home for Osprey is the name of the book and is about an osprey named Ozzy who can't find a home. In the book, Ozzy explores the campus's lake, forest, swamp, and sand hill looking for different places to live with other animals. Eventually, Ozzy learns he must build his own home and get help from a friend. Fitzroy and Costa hope the book book will educate the youth of Jacksonville about the importance of the reserve's preservation. The book will go on sale at the UNF Marketplace for $19.95, and the funds received will help support UNF's Environmental Center. There has been a couple of vandalism cases around UNF. A Spinnaker distribution box was reported damaged on November 19th. According to the police report, the box appeared to have been kicked or struck with a blunt object, causing a large dent and preventing the door from opening and closing. The replacement value of the box is estimated at $167. There are no leads at this time, and the case is suspended. Another case of vandalism occurred just four days after the Sigma Beta Road Jacket incident. A student union employee said that students scheduled an event the night of November 18th in the amphitheater, but never showed up. When a different employee went to retrieve the tables, he discovered the damage. One table had a lewd drawing on it, while the other table had a lewd drawing and a racial slur. The damage is estimated at $200, and the case has not been cleared. For more on these stories, check out our website at unfspinnaker.com. All right, Ospreys, we're going to throw it over to your Spinnaker Sports. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Alex Lassen with your Spinnaker Sports Report. Now, the UNF men's basketball team lost to LSU last night, 108-119. However, it was quite a phenomenal game for both teams. Dallas Moore and Bo Beach each scored 31 points, marking the first time in program history that two players tallied at least 30 points in the same game. Bo scored 22 points in the first half, while Moore took the lead in the second half, scoring 20 points. Now this game marked the fourth time the Ospreys have reached triple digits and the second highest point total in the Division I era. UNF scored 19 of 33 attempted three-pointers with a 57% performance. Also, they successfully shot an incredible 84% of free throws. UNF held the lead for almost the entire game up until there was less than 15 minutes of game time. LSU freshman Ben Simmons scored 25 points in the final 20 minutes, ultimately crushing any chance of an upset. Simmons is expected to be the number one pick in this year's NBA draft, which is a pretty big deal. So even though he's not an Osprey, kudos to him. UNF plays again on Saturday, night, Saturday afternoon at Dayton, so if you feel like driving to Ohio, go support our guys. Well, that's it for sports today. Liz, back to you. Thanks, Alex. There's a slight correction to be made about the exotic animal petting zoo. We reported that it would take place yesterday morning when, in fact, it will be happening next Wednesday, December 9th. This event, along with a few others, will happen during finals week with the intent of getting students a study break during one of the most stressful weeks of the semester. I'm so glad that they're going to do a petting zoo during finals week. Me too. It sounds like a furry good time. <laughs> That's right. Well, UNF, this will be Alex and I's last show. We want to thank you for watching. Whether you're watching the cafe or on YouTube on your computer, we appreciate your viewership. All right, but before we go, you can check us out at unfspinnaker.com. Or you can like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash unfspinnaker. And if you're on Twitter or Instagram, follow us at unfspinnaker. Be sure to stay tuned for your three-day forecast, and have a great day, UNF. <laughs>